Three, two, one, go. All right, big stakes here. Winner of this match plays the number eight seed in the upper final and guarantees a top three finish. With that, we see McGuanago going for one of those center notes, barely beating Red Raider Robotics to it. Going up the Red Alliance has scored seven notes here in Autonomous. Eight notes, putting them up 44 to the Blue Alliance's 24. Not to be outdone though, there's still plenty of notes on that blue side of the field and Saber is going to use them. Up and in for 2506. Red Raider Robotics following suit with a note from their team source, aligning at the subwoofer, a quick shot. Hilltoppers focusing on that amp. They've got two in there and they're ready for it to go up. Just barely missed that shot, but they've got another and their partners, Hill Toopers, are lined up at the base. McGuanago goes in, Hilltoppers goes in, Hill Toopers for a third. Red is starting to mount a lead, 61 to 30 here. Seven notes for your Blue Alliance. Ferroderm is a hard hit in the middle of the field and they are currently disabled. That could be a big blow for the Blue Alliance here. However, Red Raider and Saber are looking to make up that difference, potentially even knocking them back to an enabled state here with a minute 20 left in this match. 64 to 35, 65 as we see Hilltoppers again focusing on that amp and McGuanago playing that feeding strategy. A lot of traffic here. Red Raider Robotics now colliding with the Red Alliance's stage and disabling themselves. This is tough. We've got one blue robot moving for Saber Robotics and they've got to move quickly if they want to make up this deficit being caused by the Red Alliance. But Red Raider's back. They're there and they've got notes to grab from their team source. Although to do it, they'll have to take some defense from Hill Toopers, 99-91 on the Red Alliance. McGuanago still playing that feeder strat, a big bump from Red Raider Robotics, playing some timing on that cycle. But with the Red Alliance speaker amped, McGuanago tosses one in, another for Hill Toppers. That's three in there. 30 seconds left, the score 102 to 43 in favor of the Red Alliance. It would take quite an effort from Blue here to make up this deficit, but I think they can do it, especially with that end game sounding. That can make all the difference in these matches as we've seen. And we do see these teams lining up for it already. McGuanago still feeding notes in these last 10 seconds. And then aligning, knocking, knocking Hilltoppers off that chain while they were able to trap in these last few seconds of, of the upper bracket round two, match eight. All right, the scores are in. Who will be making it to our upper finals? It is the Red Alliance taking home the victory. 111 to the Blue Alliance's 53 points. Red will be moving on in the upper bracket. It's not the end of the day for Blue, though, as they advance to the lower bracket. We'll see them again.